So you just have the basic hydraulics on your tractor. Does that mean you have fewer options for attachments? Well, we're gonna discuss that today. Primarily electric options for your tractor, various accessories, attachments that you can get, maybe just non-hydraulic versions or maybe non-PTO versions, just alternatives for you to consider if you want something besides what you traditionally see on the market. Well, before we get into it, I'd encourage you, if you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to see more tractor videos. And if you want an attachment for your tractor, guess what? We ship all over the country. Make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. Okay, so let's address the main problem going on, which is gonna be a limited amount of hydraulic ports that are on your tractor. Now most, not all tractors these days are gonna come loader ready. And what that means is they're gonna have two hydraulic circuits. So you're gonna have one circuit that raises and lowers your front end loader. The other hydraulic circuit is going to curl or roll your bucket. And now that's typically gonna be controlled by a loader joystick like this one on the 1025R that's integrated into the design of the tractor. Now to clarify, not every tractor is gonna come loader ready with the hydraulics and the joystick. The John Deere 3E series comes to mind where it's gonna have its own hydraulics and its own joystick when you buy the loader package itself. But for all of us that do have a loader on our tractor, you're gonna have those two circuits, the raise lower and the curl roll. Oftentimes you might see optional hydraulic outlets on the back side of the tractor or maybe mounted down by those loader hydraulics and running up front to control a grapple or something else. However, Whoever it is paid extra to have those installed on there. And sometimes if you're going through the factory or the OEM, you know, the John Deere or the Kubota to have that done, you could be looking at a hefty price tag, sometimes 1,500, 2,000, even more dollars to get that done, depending on your dealer. So all we've got is a basic setup on this tractor. But does that mean we have limited options? Heck no, it doesn't. Let's talk about those now. All right, so we have options for you on the front end of your tractor, on the back end of your tractor. Now these options for you on the front end loader are gonna revolve around keeping that overall cost, that overall investment for you as low as possible, as well as avoiding trips to the dealer. Now an important note, this is going to require that you have a quick attach bucket on your tractor. So for John Deere, that's gonna be a John Deere quick attach and for Kubota, for Massey, for LS, for Coyote, and all the other brands out there, it's gonna require that you do have a skid steer quick attach between your loader and your bucket. So if you can quickly and easily take your bucket off of your loader, more than likely you have one of these two options available, but they're the two most common and prevalent systems on the market, and generally you're gonna have an option available for you. All right, so the first option is gonna be the WorkSaver Electric Grapple. And so this is gonna be an all-in-one kit and includes everything you need. Again, you have the quick attach on your tractor between your loader and your bucket. It's gonna have all the electrical harnesses, the push button, the tie-ins to your battery terminals, everything you need. And you're not gonna have any operational or functional differences between that electric version and the hydraulic version. You're gonna have your complete range of motion, still raising and lowering your front end loader, curling and rolling that grapple, and then being able to open and close the jaws of the grapple controlled by the electric actuator. Now, WorkSaver is a made in the USA company, all right? So it's a very high quality system all around. And this is something you can install yourself in your own garage in just one to two hours. But if you're looking for an even cheaper and maybe more simplistic model yet, Look to the Brush Crusher by Wessendorf. There's gonna be a few different models for the John Deere loaders, and then there's gonna be one model for the skid steer loaders, but either way, these are not gonna have any additional hydraulic or electrical connections. It's a completely mechanical operation. However, this means you're sacrificing some of your range of motion. So instead of being able to curl and roll that grapple, that functionality is gonna instead open and close the jaws of the grapple. And for most folks, this is not going to be a problem. The only time it typically comes into play is when you're gonna be raising a load really high, say over a high side dump trailer, if you wanna stack a really big uh, brush or burn pile, the higher you raise that brush crusher, the more parallel with the ground the bottom jaws are gonna be, which means it's gonna be more difficult to let debris, logs, material roll out of the grapple itself. Nevertheless, it's a great solution and by far the most popular grapple option that I sell. Okay, so now let's talk about a hydraulic solution when you have limited hydraulics to give you more hydraulics. And so what I mean by that is if you still wanna have a traditional hydraulic grapple, but you're on a budget, there's still a relatively cheap way for you to get into it. And so this is gonna be through the use of an electric over hydraulic diverter system or diverter kit from Summit Hydraulics. 
And so this is a do-it-yourself solution, DIY again. It's another one to two hour job that you can tackle in an evening or on the weekend, really easy with the tools in your own garage. But this is not adding on additional hydraulics to your tractor. This is gonna be using a solenoid and a valve body to redirect flow from that curl roll function to the open close function on your grapple. So these kits from Summit are gonna include pretty much everything you need. They're gonna include the valve bodies, uh, the solenoid, the replacement handle for your joystick with a little push button on there to activate that solenoid solenoid, the electrical wiring and harnesses that you need, and some kits are even going to include the hydraulic hoses to make it all work. So I am not a mechanical guy by any stretch, and we still managed to get this done in about an hour and a half, I think it was. It was not intimidating really at all. I mean, everything just goes in one place, so you can't really mess it up too bad. And the great thing about this is that we partner with Summit Hydraulics. So you don't buy this kit from us. You're gonna go right to their website and purchase it. If you need help finding the right kit for your machine, just reach out, give them a phone call or send them an email, but you can enter code GWT. You can save 5% off of your order. You'll get a discount, I'll get a commission. It's a win-win. Now we do have one more Summit Hydraulics product that's gonna be very beneficial for giving you additional hydraulic options on the back side of the tractor, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. But on that note, let's talk about hydraulic free solutions on the back end. All right, so we recently showed you guys setting up our 1025R with a rear pull type snowblower on it. Now the stock setup on those is gonna come with a manual rotation, all right? So you kind of reach back and crank a shaft and it rotates the chute left to right and kind of circles it around whatever way you wanna point it. Now I didn't like that, that's kind of annoying to have to reach around and rotate something a shoot one way or another depending on what direction you're going up and down your driveway very inconvenient and so what we added on to our mk martin snowblower this is not a universal product it's just for that product line is an electric shoot rotation so you just plug it in just right to the battery terminals it comes with a controller that you just push a button one way or the other it's going to electrically just right from your operator seat just change that shoot rotation whatever direction you want it to point however last year on the john deere 4066 that we had well, we had a whole other scenario going on. So our tractor actually already had a couple hydraulic circuits on the backside, but those were already being occupied by something called a hydraulic top and tilt. And the snowblower that I had required three additional hydraulic circuits. So those three functions on the snowblower are gonna be the hydraulic chute rotation, the hydraulic deflector, and the hydraulic back drag. So between those three functions and the top and tilt, that's five total functions that we needed on the backside of the tractor. Guess what? John Deere only offers three from the factory. So we were able to solve that problem by going to Summit Hydraulics and they have another product that's called a hydraulic multiplier. And so what this is, it's a big hydraulic valve body. You can get it with uh, varying amounts of circuits on there. If you wanna have two circuits or three or four or six circuits, you can get them set up in all those different ways. You do need to have one rear hydraulic outlet on your tractor, but if you do, you can turn that one hydraulic outlet into six. So if you wanna get more details on that hydraulic multiplier, we did a whole other video about it, so we'll put a link up above somewhere so you can check that out. The point being, it turned the impossible to the possible. And don't forget, again, that's another product. You can go to summit-hydraulics.com, you enter code GWT, you save 5% off of your order. Now, speaking of 5% off, Sweetball is another manufacturer that we partner with. They're gonna offer several solutions for the backside of your tractor, or your UTV, or your garden tractor, or even your zero turn. So one product that they offer is gonna be a pull behind aerator. This is a core plug aerator. It's a commercial grade unit, very, very well built. This does not use a three point hitch, so it can be transferred between different types of equipment and machines. Now you can equip this with an electric lift, so that way if you're going over your driveway or sidewalks or just other areas when you're turning around, you can lift that up right from the operator seat. You know, you can add on a huge uh, barrel of water if you want, or a lot of suitcase weights to get that weight right down in there so it's taking some nice deep plugs, but it's a very handy handy, well-built, commercial-grade unit. Now, I'd say their signature product is gonna be a power sweeper. Now, you can get a PTO-driven sweeper or you can get a self-power sweeper, all right? But both of these are gonna have electric options. For the PTO-driven sweeper, that will connect to your three-point hitch as well. You can get an electric dump from the seat so you don't have to get off the operator seat. That hopper can get really full, really heavy. It's nice to just be able to push a button, lift that up, and empty it out. Now, on the self-powered option, you can get electric start if you want to, but you're also gonna have push-button controls to adjust the brush speed, the brush height, as well as the dump. And again, this is a company that you can save 5% with code GWT. Next up is the Ag Spray Electric Spreader, and this is gonna be a pretty unique product on the market. Yes, there's a lot of PTO-driven spreaders. This does not require any PTO hookup, so if you hate hooking up PTOs, 
You don't have to worry about it with this spreader. This is going to be another all-in-one solution, include everything you need to just hook it up to your battery terminals. So this is going to include a little control box that you can just put up right by your operator station. Of course, it is going to have an on-off switch on there, but it's also going to have a dial control, so you can adjust the spread width. It can be as narrow as just a few feet or as wide as 50 feet, allowing you to get a ton of coverage with just minimal passes. I've used this around my house a lot for overseeding, for fertilizers, for other soil amendments. You can also use this in the wintertime on your driveway for not salt, but the, uh, the ice melt pellets. You can put those through here as well. So to reiterate a few highlights about this, this is made right in the USA. It is quick hitch compatible. There's no PTO connection and it's variable adjustment. So this spreader, along with many other attachments and accessories for your tractor can be found right at goodworkstractors.com. We are constantly expanding our selection, but we have so many products in stock and available. We pack them up, we ship them on a pallet, we ship them UPS ground, whatever the most cost effective way is to get it to you. We have free shipping to 36 states. We only have to charge sales tax in about seven different states right now, so that's a potential cost savings as well. But just take a look. You can buy everything you want to right on our website. You'll get an order confirmation. We'll pack your order up. We'll get it shipped out to you, send you tracking information it'll come right to your house. So if you're in the market for an attachment, check out goodworkstractors.com. Okay, and so last up is gonna be something that can be used on your tractor, but can also be used on a UTV or a garden tractor or an ATV. And that's gonna be from a manufacturer that I do business with and I've really grown to like a lot, which is Dirt Dog Manufacturing down in Georgia. Now I haven't had a chance to use these attachments in particular, but we have them on order for next spring. So we'll be sure to give them a workout then. But this is gonna be a whole system for you guys without a three point hitch. If you have a rear receiver, you can hook this up. You're gonna to have to get a frame. It's gonna consist of the framing itself, a couple of wheels, electric actuator so that you can raise and lower different attachments. So that frame is gonna be a one-time purchase and then you can go ahead and get different attachments to kind of swap in and out of there. So you can get a landscape rake, you can get a plugger, you can get a road grader, a box blade, a field cultivator, a disc caro, a carry-all, the list goes on. There's all sorts of different attachments. So if you have maybe a UTV and a tractor or a garden tractor and a UTV, you just wanna have one attachment that can be used on everything. You can always get a two inch receiver like in the Versa bracket for your tractor and hook it up on there. But the benefit from a system like that is that you don't have to use a three point hitch, right? You can just use a receiver, which you can set up on pretty much any machine that you have. So it's more versatile that way. These again are going to include the cabling, the harnesses you need just to hook up to your power source, which is your battery, and then a thumb control or a little control switch to be able to raise and lower as needed. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it for us today, but I hope that this opens your eyes to see what options are available for you. Just because you have limited hydraulics on your tractor doesn't really mean you have limited options. So again, if you did enjoy this video, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button to see more. And if you want something for your tractor, you know where to go, goodworkstractors.com. Thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.